Okay, Adam, show me how to start up this uh, drone copter here. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the drone down on a nice place where the camera isn't getting hit by grass or anything like that. Got it. Um, first thing we're always going to do is turn on your, um, your remote control and your, uh, your Wi-Fi repeater. So we're going to turn that on right here. Wi-Fi first. And that one on. Got it. It's going to beep audible. twice. The, beep, the two beeps means it's in FCC mode or US mode. And if it beeped once, that means you'd be in European mode, which Got it. would be a problem. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn on the actual quadcopter. We're going to hold the button in until we hear the beep. Now we know it's, uh, it's going. Right. Before we even get deal with the, uh, the iPhone, we're going to calibrate the compass. We should do this every time you're flying in kind of a new area. I do it every time I fly. The way you do that is you take the S1 switch, or the switch here on the right, and you go up and down at least five times. And you make sure it's always left in the top position. You also want your S2 always in the top position. Got it. Now, we're going to take the copter, um, and you'll notice when we take it up that the rear lights are yellow. That means it's, it's waiting for calibration. So we're going to turn the copter clockwise slowly, 360 degrees, until the lights turn green, a steady green. Got it. Okay, now they're green. Now we got one more thing to do. We're going to turn it up on its side, and we're going to turn 360 degrees Counterclockwise. this way until the lights either start to flash or do something other than just be uh, completely green. Okay. Right like that. Right. Now we're going to put it back down. Now why is that? That's important. Well, it's important to calibrate the compass. It's also kind of setting its return to home mode, which means if the power ever goes off or it loses control, it's basically going to land right there. Got it. So now we're going to get the iPhone going. Got it. Um, and we're going to first go into, under our settings. Right. And we're going to make sure that the Wi-Fi that's selected is the Phantom. It's going to be named it. Phantom and then some numbers. Right. Then we're actually going to fire up the app. We're going to check up here first that the, the name. App right there. You know, the, 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 sorry. Oops. Oh. Actually, got in that mode. We're going to make sure it says Phantom up there, and we're going to get into camera mode. Got it. Okay. I see all the little visuals over there. Okay. Satellite. It says we have. Uh, Forty-eight percent power. Forty-eight percent power. How many? Um, I know it says zero or nine. Yeah, so, it's, it's, it's blue, which means we have at least six. You gotta have six to take off. Okay. If it's blue, that means we're good to go. Now we're ready to take off. All right, and how do we start up the machine? Start a machine by bringing both controllers into their inside corners, so right. just like that. Then we let go of them. Right. Now we're ready to go. Now if we want to start fi filming this, if we're taking a picture of a really nice rock there, we hit the film button, and now we take off. All right, before you do that, it's really interesting to know these don't look like they're moving very fast at all on this camera, but that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> now we're ready to go. We're yeah. gonna...